Hi guys, welcome to our new series, Pandas. Pandas is an open source and Pandas is mainly used for data analysis, data manipulation and data visualization purpose. So Pandas is very well work with the label data, relational data, and of course it can really work with unlabeled data also. So Pandas is mainly a Python module. So we are going to be uh, cover design this course mainly for non-coding background people and those people who thinks coding is very difficult. So in our entire duration of the course, we are going to be match this uh, Pandas training with the uh, ETL. So in the ETL, how we are going to be pre-process the data and how we are going to be load the data for visualization purpose or for the reporting purpose. So how this can be achieved by using Pandas. We are going to be cover everything by relating to the SQL side and with the Python side. So you must have basic knowledge in Python, like Python data types, what is list, what is tuple, and what is dictionary. Right, so we are going to be cover all our practicals in Jupyter Lab. So to install our Jupyter Lab, we need Anaconda. So Anaconda is a package where we do have all the set of libraries available. So to install Anaconda, first we need to install the Python and uh, we are going to be start with the installation process first. We are going to be install Python 2.7, then we are going to be install Anaconda. Finally, we will launch our Jupyter Notebook for practical purpose. So let's see how we are going to be installed. So I'm going to be downloading Python 2.7 from python.org. Uh, based on your Windows installation, Either it's a 64-bit or 32-bit, you can select uh, according to your data OS. So I'm selecting a 64-bit installer here. And uh, once it is dead, just go ahead and start the installation process. So it's still downloading. So meanwhile, go ahead and download your Anaconda package also. So I'm going to be downloading my Anaconda. And once you are trying to download, it will ask for two versions, Python 3.6 version or 2.7 version. That is based on your OS uh, bit also. Either it is 32 or 64 bit. So you just download your required uh, version from here. So I'm going to be download for Python 2.7 version because I'm downloading Python 2.7 version. So you just start downloading here. So looks our Python installation completed. So let's show in folder and you just go ahead and install your Python now. So make sure install with the uh, admin privileges to give full access. So I'm installing for all users. Click on next, next, next. Right, so once it gets installed, it will prompt you uh, with the finish action. Just click on finish. Right, so just go to the Windows button and you can see whether it's installed or not. You can see Python IDLE, and which is GUI and Python command line. You can see both over here. You can launch any of the one and you can see the version of the Python. See here, Python 2.7.15 installed. You can write your Python code over here. So on top of this Python, I'm installing my Anaconda now. So to get all the required packages. So uh, just try to install Anaconda, just double click on it. And it will prompt you a run window. 
and most of the time we are trying to go with next process here so you can give whatever you want here just me or all users just click on this and click on next now and i can add anaconda to your system path variable here just click install So here it is, it's installing Microsoft Visual Studio. So once it's done, it will give an option next over here. So let's wait for one more minute. Okay, now just click on next and click on if you want to uh, check these two options, you can do it. Otherwise, you can ignore those options. So just click on finish. So once you are done with the finish, so now it's uh, we are ready with the Anaconda. Okay, so now let's launch your uh, Anaconda. So go to menu and you can see here Anaconda prompt. Also, you can see Anaconda GUI. So you can see Anaconda Navigator here. So it will open the Anaconda Navigator. So meanwhile, so I'm going to be open Anaconda uh, command prompt also. So to know what are the list of packages you just got installed, you just type conda list. So it will list all the packages uh, what is just installed. You can see all the packages which are available here. And if you can see the pandas is available here. So here it is pandas. Likewise, uh, you can see numpy also, numpy and you can see uh, skypy so so all the list of packages you can see over here in the navigator i'm sorry in the prompt so let's see our navigator is launched okay so it just got launched click on okay and see this is our navigator so here we need to just launch our jupyter lab to launch your jupyter lab just click on launch here it will launch our jupyter lab where we can do all our coding work so it is going to be ask you where you need to launch in internet explorer or google chrome so you can select whatever you require but i'm selecting google chrome right and click on ok once you click on ok now it is going to be open a window in the google chrome with a local host right see on the left side, you can see the documents. If you want to import those documents into the directly, directly into the notebook, you can import. If you don't want to view this one, you just go to view option, do not show left area. And just launch with a notebook here. Now we are in practical. So this is our Jupyter lab where we are going to be do or write all our coding over here and we can execute our code in this part. Okay, so this is also for. So in the next session, we are going to be start our practicals. So how we are going to be import data from file or how we are going to be create uh, a data frame using dictionaries list or tuple. Okay, so hope you enjoy guys and we'll see you in the next session. Thank you.